Come inside, don't be shy, Jolene can't wait to meet you For a trailer park Christmas, the trailer park way With a brand new recipe every day Sending videos from her trailer, yeah she's Jolene Sugar Baker Come and spend the holidays, the trailer park way Trailer Park fans, it's Jolene Sugar Baker, the Trailer Park Queen, and welcome to the Trailer Park Taste Kitchen, and welcome to another edition of Trailer Park Christmas 2014, where I show you how the Trailer Park celebrates the holiday. I'm so excited to spend the holidays with you, and it's actually Merry Trailer Park Christmas Eve, and I've been doing a video every day since December 1st, and it's just been, oh, wow. What is that sound? Oh, I know, that's the vegetarian alarm, and that goes off when we start talking about vegetarianism, and, you know, actually, when you have a vegetarian come over for the holidays, it's not a reason to sound the alarms, because it's actually quite simple to fix, and that doesn't mean to rescind their invitation. Last year, I made a great kind of a veggie loaf, and I've kind of upgraded the recipe this year. It's something that I actually like to eat, and it's actually cheap to make, too. And it's got carrots and rice and peanut butter. That's actually very Trailer Park. But it's my veggie kind of meatloaf up next on Trailer Park Christmas, and it will certainly make your vegetarian friends holiday. I'll be right back. Welcome back. Making my veggie loaf is perfect for that vegetarian that comes over to your house for the holidays. And up here I've got just a little saucepan that I'm going to work in and pay no attention to that smoke, whatever that is, that'll burn off in a minute. But I've got three tablespoons of oil. Go ahead and put that in the saucepan and make sure that you use like a vegetable oil because that would be vegan. Lard, not so much vegan um, with that. Um, and then I've got a small onion chop. That's what this is. That's gonna go right on in there. We're gonna cook this over here on medium high heat until they're softened, but not brown. Um, so that's what we're gonna do. I'll check back with you in just a moment. Okay, our onions have gotten softened now, and what we're gonna do is turn off the heat. Now we're gonna add our other ingredients, and I'm gonna add, today I'm using a nice Dalmatian sage, and I've got one eight teaspoon of that, and that's gonna give a nice flavor to that. There we go. We're just gonna mix that in there. Looks like my heat's still up, so let's take it off just a little bit and mix that right on in there. Then I have a half teaspoon of regular table salt right on in there, right on into the mixture. And I like to dose it up a little bit with some garlic. And I've got that right here. And I'll just put a little bit of that right there into the pan. And now we've got some other ingredients. And this is a cup of regular rice. The brown rice is really good. So we're just going to dump that right on in there. And then, this is a cup of soy milk with a half cup of peanut butter, creamy peanut butter that I've mixed together, and that's very vegetarian. Uh, make sure that the peanut butter is. There we go. And now, I've got two cups of carrots, and I bought the pre-shredded kind because I don't feel like doing all the dishes and they were on sale, so I'm going to dump that in there. And here... This is a half a cup of whole wheat breadcrumbs, and I made sure that they had no um, egg products in there, so those are good to go. And we're gonna just pour that right on top there. And what we're gonna do is mix this all together, and I'll check back with you in just a moment. Now you take a baking pan that you've sprayed out and start forming little mini meatloafs out of them. And you can make them any size. You just want to make them real firm and make sure that you form them all out so when you slice them it'll look real pretty. Now depending on the size that you make them, if you made the big loaf it'll probably take a whole hour 
in actually a 350 degree oven. But since we're making many small ones, we're gonna have to keep an eye on it to see how long they actually take. So let's go ahead and pop it in and set our timer. There's no need to panic when there's a vegetarian coming over to your trailer for the holidays. No need to set off any sort of alarms because there's certain things that you can fix like today's veggie loaf that I made and you can certainly change out the spices or even ingredients to suit your needs and I'd love to hear about what you would change out. Leave a comment down at the bottom. Serve this with a side of vegetables and this will certainly make your vegetarian friend's holiday. I certainly love spending the holidays with you. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter. I'm Jolene's Trailer there. Add me on Facebook, Google+. I'm all over the place. Don't forget to download the calendar at TrailerParkChristmas2014.com so you can look back on all the recipes and crafts that we've done since December 1st. And I hope you and your family have a great Trailer Park Christmas Eve. And I'll see you back tomorrow with a special message right here from the Trailer Park Test Kitchen for Trailer Park Christmas. I love you all and I'll see you back real soon. Bye bye. Slap on all your blue eye shadow. Watch out for that big tornado. Get all filled with bye. pride bye. in the double wide. Visit my store at trailerparkstore.com.